Well, I want to thank you all. And we had a, I thought, very momentous day in terms of what was learned and what they've conceded. They conceded two major points that were, uh, they were right in doing it. I don't think they had much of a choice, but they're very, very big, very powerful points. And I think we're doing very well. I think it's very unfair when a opponent, a political opponent, is prosecuted by the DOJ, by Biden's DOJ. Uh, so they're losing in every poll. They're losing in almost every demographic uh, today that are uh, really very mind-boggling if you happen to be Joe Biden. And I think they feel this is the way they're going to try and win. And that's not the way it goes. That will be bedlam in the country. It's a very bad thing. It's a very bad precedent. As we said, it's the opening of a Pandora's box. And that's a very, that's a very sad thing that's happened with this whole situation. Uh, when they talk about uh, threat to democracy, that's your real threat to democracy. And I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. And if you don't, as an example, if uh, this case were lost on immunity, and I did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. I'm working for the country. And I worked on uh, very hard on voter fraud because we have to have free elections. We have to have strong voters. We have to have free elections. Those two things, almost above all. And we found tremendous voter fraud. We have a list of it. We have some findings if you want it. The press doesn't like me for tremendous voter fraud, determinative voter fraud. But we worked on that. That's what I was doing. And uh, they were talking about after. Well, nothing has to do with after I left. It was during the time. And that was what they really focused on today during the appeal. And they concede that, and everybody concedes that. And if it's during the time, you have absolute immunity. So uh, we'll see how it all works out. Uh, we have uh, a great argument. We have an argument with they conceded two major points today. In fact, I think it's probably a concession. You have to ask the lawyers, Todd, if you'd like to talk about it. But they conceded two points that I think were, uh, by normal standards, if it weren't me, that would be the end of this case. But sometimes they look at me differently than they look upon others, and that's very bad for our country. Uh, you had a very big event yesterday, as you saw, in Georgia, where the District Attorney is totally compromised. The case has to be dropped. Uh, they went after, I guess, 18 or 20 people. They wanted to go after a lot of other people. They wanted to go after senators. She was out of her mind. Now it turns out that that case is totally compromised. In fact, they say she's in far more criminal liability than any of the people she's looking at. So I think that when you look at what happened, where they pay a lawyer with absolutely no experience, $700,000, who happens to be her lover or her boyfriend. And uh, then they go on trips and vacations together, very expensive vacations together. And the reason they paid him so much, because he was after me. Because this way, they can afford to pay him a lot more. It probably passes a certain test. And that's a very sad thing that happened in Georgia. And I, I would imagine that case is going to be dropped. Every legal analyst that I've spoken to, every legal analyst that I've read have said that case is so compromised now, it has to be dropped. Uh, very good people were very badly hurt by that case. It's a shame. Very good people. People did nothing wrong. Uh, they did nothing different than what Democrats have been doing for years and years and years, whether it's slates or anything else that you're talking about. But they were very hurt, and it turns out that uh, she profited tremendously on that case. It's illegal. What she did is illegal. So we'll let the state handle that. But what a, uh, what a sad situation it is. I want to thank everybody for the fairness. We've been covered very fairly. Most people agree that uh, we're entitled as a president to immunity. If you didn't have immunity, as an example, uh, Joe Biden with the prosecutor, we're not going to give you a billion dollars unless you get rid of the prosecutor that's after that's after the company, his son, or whoever it is they're after. But he wanted that prosecutor gone, and he's on tape saying it. Or you could say the horrible job he's done at the border, where our country is being destroyed. Or the horrible situation that took place. The lowest moment, I think, in the history of our country was Afghanistan, the way we withdrew. Not that we withdrew, but the way we withdrew with, with shame. We surrendered. Uh, 
people killed, 13 great soldiers killed, many unbelievably horrifically hurt, wounded, hurt. And hundreds of people died on both sides. Hundreds of people died. He could be prosecuted for that. So you can't have a president uh, without immunity. You have to have a president. You have to be able to do your job. But if this didn't work out, if I wasn't given immunity, then other presidents, when we talked about today, uh, President Obama with the drone strikes, which were very bad, uh, they were mistakes, terrible mistakes. Uh, you can't put a, a, you're a president in that position. So I think most people understand it, and we feel very confident that eventually, uh, hopefully at this level, but eventually we win. A president has to have immunity. And the other thing is I did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. Uh, the investigation of the election, which was a rigged election, everybody knows it. And just if you just look at, they didn't use state legislatures. And they didn't, uh, they went to the FBI and you look at FBI and Twitter, the Twitter files with the FBI, all of the horrible things, uh, FISA, the FISA court, the signed documents, uh, the lying to Congress, and the stuffing of the ballot bo boxes, all on tape. Stuffing of ballot boxes, all on tape. Government tape. Animation, as you know, will give you some of the findings that just came out. But all of that information, as you know, was gotten from mostly government sources, government tapes, government files, and government stats. So it's uh, very sad when something like that happens. You know, you wouldn't have inflation, but much more importantly, you wouldn't have had the Ukraine situation with Russia. You would have had the attack on Israel. You'd have a much different economy right now. You'd have a great economy. and. We would be respected all over the world the way we were just three years ago. So I want to thank everybody very much. And we, uh, we think we had a very good day today. Uh, the concession of these two major points was pretty amazing. And uh, honestly, I'm very glad they did it. I think they did the right thing. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. President, you just used the word bedlam. Will you tell your supporters now, no matter what, no violence?